Hey, look what I found. It's Tony talking car biz. Here's a brand new 2020 Toyota Corolla hatchback XSE edition. Great color combination. This is the smoked paprika metallic with the black package. This thing is a really great looking car. Let's dive in to take a quick look at the back. So on the back, the badging is blacked out as well as the Toyota emblem is blacked out and the smoked pe paprika metallic looks awesome on this. Notice we do have a protective cover right here on the bumper and that's going to take care of your scuffs and dings from sliding stuff in and out. Underneath the emblem, that's your backup camera right there. Pop open that tailgate and we have a Nice size storage capacity back here. You can see you can pop this open. There's a place down here, kind of a cubby down there. And then another one over here. And this one does have the all season floor mats package. So that's an extra cost, uh, $249 I believe that cost extra. And then this all opens up and there's your spare tire, your jack, your tool kit. There's room in there for jumper cables, and other emergency road equipment if you want. There's a better look at those storage compartments on that side. And then notice we do have a cargo cover and this is removable. So in order to pull that out, just push it forward a little bit and it drops down right in like that. And then you have those back seats do fold down. You can see you can fold down 60% here or 40% or 100% and you just grab the handle right here, push ahead, push it forward and drop it down. Now on the back tailgate here, you'll notice we do have two simulated exhausts. This is not the exhaust system, but it does look like it. It's simply for styling. And then we have that piano black applique there as well, but it is a single exhaust system right there independent rear suspension. It's going to give you better handling and a smoother ride. The tailgate is not power, but it's pretty lightweight. You can tug it down right here. Rear washer wiper, rear window defrost, and the blackout package does have a black spoiler, as well as your black shark fin antenna, and then your painted black roof line, all part of that black package as well as piano black mirrors with your blinkers built right in here so your directionals are here and then these collapse in so if you've got a tight garage and they also fold out and you'll notice we do have the blind spot monitoring system right here colored to match door handles and smart keyless entry so you don't need to take your keys out of your pocket as long as you have them on your person you'll be fine the wheels and tires, these are an 18 inch cast aluminum wheel and they're kind of a gunmetal gray painted finish. And we do have disc brakes up front. The tires are a low profile tire. So that's your 225 40 R18 inch. So the 40 means that the height of the tire is 40% of the width of the tire. So this is a lower profile tire for sure. It's gonna handle really nice at high speeds and for cornering probably won't get as good of uh, wear and tear out of those as you would out of a traditional tire, but they look great and they handle even better. There's a quick look up front. Let's take a look at your grill. It is a gunmetal gray painted finish on the grill. You do have LED uh, fog lights down there, part of the XSE package with the piano black trim and then the brushed aluminum trim going all the way around the grill. And they use that brushed aluminum on the inside. So I'll cover that when I get there. And then you have your low profile J curved LED headlights. These are LEDs right here and projector style head beams here. A nice low profile headlight gives it a really nice aggressive look. Let's go ahead and dive into the interior and I'll point out some of the features in there. Okay, beginning here on the driver's door, a couple nice features here, especially on the styling front. 
So these are padded door rests. It's not a hard plastic like you'll find in some of the competitors. White contrast stitching. Here's some more of that brushed aluminum we saw up on the front, here and here. And then you can see they're blending this nice piano black applique into the door as well. So very upscale when you open the door, you feel like you're getting into a luxury car. Bottle holders in the doors, storage compartment right here, and a speaker down there in the door as well. Turning to the driver's seat, we do have full power on the driver's seat, forward, backwards, up, down, a power recliner, and power lumbar support. So lots of uh, adjustments there. And then the seats are a leather seat with black with the white contrast stitching and then a cloth insert. So very comfortable, the combination of the leather and the cloth, super comfortable. And then of course we do have an adjustable headrest and those bucket seats have really nice wide side bolster. So those are gonna hold you in your place when you're zooming around out on the road. Over on the lower part of the dash, this one, these are your dimmer lights. These are your automatic bright light switch on and off. And then we have a tilt steering wheel there as well. Let's go ahead and dive into the driver's seat and see what we can find. Okay, so here we are in the driver's seat. The Corolla hatchback has the three-spoke Toyota steering wheel. It's a new designed steering wheel. Um, it is leather wrapped and padded, so very comfortable. Does have more of that brushed aluminum trim around the steering wheel, which we saw over here on the door and we saw up front. That trim also runs down the center console here with the piano black finish as well. And then up here on the uh, sound system all the way across. So really blended that nicely together. Super upscale feeling with that uh, brushed aluminum and the piano black. Your steering wheel does have controls here for your information center, your sound system, uh, voice controls, cruise controls, on off switches for your lane departure and your dynamic cruise control and controls here for your sound system as well and of course we ha do have a driver's side airbag now i'm going to go ahead and turn it over so you can see what it looks like when you wake it up in the morning so a really nice light show We'll come back to those gauges. Just gonna roll up your windows. Notice the windows are auto up and auto down, all four windows. Headlight controls here, fog light controls right there. Wiper controls, front and rear wiper. And then we also have paddle shifters. So there's your paddle shifters up and down right here. Really interesting gauge cluster. Um, there's a couple things going on here. Number one, it's blue, you can see that. So you got black, white, and blue. These are mechanical gauges. So when I rev the engine, the needles are mechanical, tachometer, fuel gauge, temperature gauge. But this is a digital computer screen and uh, built inside of there is your blind spot monitoring's on and off, your headlight, your bright lights, your clock, your outside temperature, um, and then on the on the dashboard, we can go ahead and switch between different things right here. So you use these buttons to control the center, information center. So you can kind of scroll through all that stuff right there and make your personal, personalization. Notice up here, it's got the speed limit 25 miles per hour. So the system actually can read road signs and it displays those road signs up here on the information center. Pretty cool stuff. Moving over to the center console, uh, we do have an 8-inch touchscreen on the XSE. We do have our app suite, also Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, we've got Wi-Fi. Uh, there's a ton of technology built into this. We'd be happy to go over all that when you stop in, but uh, rest assured it is a very good quality sound system with Cirrus XM satellite radio. It's an HD radio. Moving down here to the uh, temperature controls. So we do have automatic temperature control, front driver controls, front passenger controls, and then you can sync them together so they're exactly the same. We do have uh, rear window defrost, but we also have 
heated outside mirrors. So those mirrors will defrost for you in the morning. Pretty cool stuff. Push button start because we do have the smart key system. So as I said before, you don't have to take your keys out of your pocket. Just leave them where they're at. Down here, there's a storage compartment. Go ahead and switch that into drive. There's a, just a small storage cubby. Um, and then the XSE does have heated seats for the front driver, front passenger. Not the back seats, but up front. And then we've got the contrast stitching and this is all padded right through here, so really nice. And the XSE does come with a sport mode for your uh, transmission on and off for traction control. The um, transmission is an automatic transmission, but um, you can also do your manual shifting either here on the floor or you can use the paddle shifters up on the steering wheel over here. We have parking hold and then we have uh, cup holders right here. So you can put your cups in there. You're good to go. There is a USB port right there, just one up front. I would have liked to see more of those and I'd like I would have liked to see a wireless charging system. Maybe next year. There's your glove box. And of course owner's manuals. Quick look at the passenger compartment. Turning up to the roof, we do have dual visors with extensions with uh, lighted vanity mirrors, overhead dome lights, safety connect right there. So push that button and we'll get you the help you need if you need help on, out on the road. This is a standard day-night mirror and it does not have a home link system. Not even available on the Corolla hatchback at all. That's a quick look at the front driver's compartment. Let me just jump in the back. I'll show you some of the features back there. Okay, in the back seat, first of all, there is a cup holder on the door. So both front doors have cup holders, as well as the center armrest. And then the seats fold down. That's 40% right there, 60% on the other side. Um, the unfortunate thing is, in order to fold that down, you have to make sure that the driver's seat is far enough ahead. So let me go ahead and move that ahead. And now I'll be able to pull that seat back up. So not a great design. I would like to see those head headrests collapse down. I think that would have been better. And then your back seats are leathers with the cloth insert, just like you saw up front, with the white contrast stitching and we do have adjustable headrests that go up and down for all three of them. And if you bring this up, you can fit three passengers back here. Two adults, comfortably, um, three children, three small children. Let me just jump in here, show you kind of the leg room. So that seats ahead a little bit. Um, I'm 5'7", uh, I'm fine, I can ride back here, no problem. Map pockets here and here. Small storage compartment. I would have liked to seen a USB charger or plug-in back here. I don't know why they didn't do that. Seems like an easy thing to do. Could be an easy win for the next model year. Here's a quick look at the driver's compartment from the back seat. Let's jump out and we'll take a look under the hood. Okay, so here's our engine. This is a two liter gasoline engine. 16 valve puts out uh, 168 horsepower 151 foot pounds of torque and the combined fuel economy is 33 miles per gallon now it is connected to a cvt automatic transmission and the warranty on the engine and the transmission is going to be uh five years 60,000 miles and then the vehicle itself has a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. And, of course, you also get Toyota Care, which is going to cover your scheduled maintenance for two years or 25,000 miles. So there you go. That's the 2020 Toyota Corolla Hatchback XSE Edition. And it, the color is Smoked Paprika with the blackout package. Gives you that black roof line, black badging, black mirrors. Really a great looking combination. If you're looking for something unique, 
this is the right one for you. Hey, if you like my video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you want more like this, go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notifications. If you want more information, please let me know. I'd be happy to gather that up for you, pricing information, that type of thing. This is Tony talking car biz. Thanks for watching.